Hello everyone, this is Raven and welcome to my channel. Today, the final piece of my computer that spans the decades came in the mail. And here it is, the GT1030 overclocked edition by Gigabyte. So this is a 2 gigabyte DDR5 card. It is a 1030, so it is a 10th generation NVIDIA card. And it is a single slot card, though the cooler does extend a bit into the next slot. So hopefully we'll have enough space to install this. This is actually the third card that I attempted to order off of eBay. The first one was a 1030 that was a little more um, OEM looking than this. It was a low profile one, but the seller ended up not shipping it and completely completely ignoring me, so I got a refund for that. The next one, I ordered an HP OEM RX 550 2GB card, because I thought that would work well in this HP build. So this one isn't going to follow the HP OEM aesthetic very well, but after two failed attempts, this was really my best option for upgrading the video card. Now, I am going to be sticking this in a 1x slot, so we will only be using the first lane here. We won't be using these here. But something you might not know about the GT1030 is that this is only a card that utilizes a by 4 slot. So it doesn't even utilize any of these lanes out here anyway. So going from a a by 4 to a by 1 slot is going to be some bandwidth reduction, but not nearly as much as it would be with a lot of other cards. So I'm hoping we'll see a huge improvement over the GT610 that's currently in there. The GT610 was never a very good card, and these two cards use almost exactly the same amount of power. This card is rated at 30 watts, whereas the GT610 is rated at 29 watts, so just one watt more for this one. It has a larger fan, so it should be less noisy than that tiny fan on the GT610. And I'm hoping we'll be able to actually play some games on this. The other one you could play Minecraft on if you installed Optifine and tweak the settings a lot, uh, but that's about it. I got Borderlands 2 to run on it, but I wouldn't call it playable, so we're going to see if any of my games are actually playable on this besides just Minecraft. So let's go ahead and get this installed. I will put a bit of tape over the other lanes just so they don't contact anything on the circuit board and short anything out. Alright, let's go ahead and take the case off. And there we can see the old GT610 in that 1x slot. Go ahead and remove this metal bracket on the back, and then we can slide that out and stick the new card in. Now one of the reasons why I tested it with the GT610 in the first place is because it draws the same amount of power roughly as the GT1030, which is the card that I wanted to get, but it took me a while to acquire this card at a price that wasn't highway robbery, because I wasn't going to pay a lot of money for it. Okay, so there's the GT610. You can see it has this tiny little fan that is very noisy, and... I put some tape over the other lanes. I don't know if that was necessary. However, it definitely makes sure that it doesn't come into contact with anything and short anything out. Okay, I have the GT610 with, I mean, sorry, the GT1030 um, taped up and ready to go. Now, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, let's go ahead and plug this in. Oh, I was going to say, it is kind of funny that I'm severely bottlenecking and already 
severely bottlenecked card. But trying to get as much performance out of this old Pentium J CPU as possible. And this card is probably a bit overkill, if I'm honest. There's a tight fit in here. I'm going to get all those cables around it and make sure I'm not pinching anything off. Okay. Without trapping anything underneath it, like this power cable. There we go. Sure, it's going to clear these Commodore 64 ports. Well, I'm going to have to swap the Commodore ports with the parallel printer ports because I think it will clear those better. Actually, it might not. Give me a second and pause the video and figure this out. All right, after some wiggling. I got it to fit, so all I need to do is wiggle it around, and it just barely fits. There's just barely room that it clears that. So, all right, let's get it screwed together, and we will make sure this works. And if it works, We'll do some benchmarking on some games and see if we can actually play something besides Minecraft on this machine now. Again, I think the GT1030 is quite overkill for the Pentium J2900 quad-core 2.6 gigahertz CPU. But I wanted to see what kind of performance we get when we absolutely max out that CPU. So I'm pretty sure this card, even though it's bottlenecked, that 1x slot is going to, I mean that um, x1 slot, is going to um, bottleneck this CPU. I mean make the CPU the bottleneck. Anyway, we'll be back in a second and see how this runs. I come back with some most unfortunate news. After testing it out, I cannot get a video output out of this card. The fan spins up, no video output, and it doesn't even detect it in the operating system. So I think this card probably works, it just does not work in a by one slot. So it's good to know, do not try putting a GT1030 in a by one slot. So I guess I am stuck with the GT610 and Minecraft will be, Minecraft and emulating games will be the best games I'll be able to play on this computer. But I wasn't really building it as a gaming machine in the first place other than for playing retro games, so, oh well, you live and you learn. I went ahead and I stuck that GT1030 in a different computer that I built that needed a graphics card. And as we can see, it's working just fine. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that graphics card. It's just that apparently the GT1030 cannot run in a by one PCIe slot. So why can't it run in a PCIe by one slot? I'm not sure. So apparently some cards can, some cards can't. Maybe for some reason it couldn't get enough power, even though it uses pretty much I the identical amount of power as the GT610. I'm not sure. But, um, as you can see, it works fine. Anyway, so just be careful if you are doing that mod where you are putting a graphics card in a PCIe by one slot, it might work and it might not work. And you might 
get some things to work, but other things won't work. So, not all cards will work with it. So you really have to make sure that the card you're using is compatible with a buy one slot. Unfortunately, all cards apparently are not. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like this video, say why in the comments below, and please subscribe if you haven't. Take care.